are on day nine. So hard for me to keep track. I think they're all starting to blur together. Like the first like three or four, it, it made quite sense, but I might be questioning which Vlogmas day it is for the rest of the month. Maybe I should do a countdown on my wall. Great idea, guys. Decided today that I am feeling some pancakes and why not try to make pancakes that look like Rudolph? which I don't really know how I'm gonna make the nose look red. I don't really have M&Ms, but even if we make little reindeer antlers, I'm gonna try to make some healthy Christmas pancakes, but I am totally all about trying to be a little bit healthier this Christmas, not because I don't enjoy unhealthy things. I enjoy them so much. Do you realize that, um, and maybe maybe the whole world is having a rude awakening. So what it's like when your body is like shutting down, like. I cannot handle all this sugar and like Christmas we know that is basically like sugar load month. It's good to kind of find other recipes that are still good yet at the same time they're not as sugar loaded and like you're not going to get to January and literally feel like a couch potato. This morning we're going to make some Christmassy pancakes. Ready? Ta-da! Oh, it just makes me so happy. You guys have been good and enjoying all these vlogs and enjoying realizing how how much discipline it takes to edit a video and i don't know do you guys like shorter do you like longer i feel like it's a bit mixed i really wish that somehow though i could just hear you back like like you're just going to talk to my screen but that means i'd have to do a live thing on like instagram and that's not what this is it's okay because we're gonna have a good day it's gonna be bright it's gonna be shiny. I just had my Jesus time, so my faith is back in my heart for everything. <laughs> I think so, my room is still pretty cute. I have my little necklace over here so that every day I can look at it. Also, this is me as a child. I love this picture because <laughs> it's kind of funny, but this cat ran away and her name was Precious and I even ended up naming my pony after her so like precious ran away so when they're like oh like we got you a pony what do you want to name it my little childlike brain was like precious like I just want an animal named precious obviously wishing on a star for that pony and then I got it so um I believe that the Lord listens to all prayers even when they look like shooting stars ready now and I'll meet you in the kitchen for some lovely, lovely, lovely pancake making. Yay, welcome back to the kitchen. I know you've been so excited, just waiting for me to get back in here. This is a recipe from the Whole Food Diary. Two bananas that are nice and ripe. We have eggs, we have, I'm putting chocolate chips in. It's not in the actual recipe. Cinnamon, I'm going to try to make this into like reindeer antlers. And then I think we're gonna have to do like a golden nose or something because I didn't have red. Um, coconut flour, baking powder, the best vanilla, and of course the oats, which we are going to blend in our little blender. And this is the recipe. And well, this is what they look like. Mine probably won't look like that, but that's also because I'm trying to make it into reindeers. Nice and simple. And we'll see how it goes. I'm also like, I love pancakes and I haven't had these in probably like six months. So I'm super excited to have them. Peanut butter on top with a little bit of drizzle. It's just a happy place. Wearing a reindeer, if you can't tell. Why well, I'm making reindeer pancakes. I did not do that on purpose, but I should have. Sprinkle. 
<laughs> so excited. Even next to the Christmas tree, they're just so cute. <laughs> Don't mind me while I just put this maple syrup on top. Just a little drizzle. Kind of am giving them color to be honest. Ta-da! Because yours looks happier than mine. <laughs> Look at it, it's face and you're like, oh my god. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Healthy chocolate chip pancake. Sorry. <laughs> I think I just started to follow your pattern and I was like, no, I can't cut it like this. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Cookie. Mmm. Tastes like banana bread with chocolate chips. Mmm. It's nice. This is quite a healthy recipe. I just can't have like food before. What? It's food, it's going same place. I just equally delicious. My taste palette's very specific. <laughs> Rice for breakfast. Pancakes. You like carrots? Muffins. Eggs. Eggs. What else? Rice. Toast, cereal, Formal. porridge. You're just limiting French. yourself. Your French toast. No, I'm <laughs> a breakfast that. person. That's probably why I'm like. So I even like breakfast, breakfast for dinner. All your you ate carrot. Dylan, what's your favorite breakfast? I love the ice cream. You love the ice. You love the ice. That's your favorite breakfast food. Yeah. <laughs> what's your favorite breakfast? Anything. 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 Good answer. I like me a syrup too. Any, anything that's, that tastes good. That's yes, what we make. My favorite food. breakfast. I think it might be is cold. Bagels. Um, bagels. Um, when yes. we, when I love bagels. Done, coffee schmear on it's top. Called chef. What? <laughs> it's called coffee schmear. Well, it's done, it's, it's like a cream chef. cheese. Mm -hmm. And then it's you like a little coffee. Before. I think it's like coffee grinds. Cream of it every day. <laughs> <laughs> a nice face. Can I capture that? Boom. <laughs> Let's see, we're gonna have a face competition. You guys can join if you want. Uh... Oh. <laughs> devotional in I saw it on Facebook look at this yay give her a little FaceTime call you got my book what do you think she's such a good wiggler already been and do my calendar now because I had a very lovely lunch. It's time! <laughs> Day nine. Two. Right here. Winning. Add our little donkey. We got <laughs> good chocolate. Another milk. Put him here or we go asymmetrical. Him to the outdoors, friends. It's really warm right here. Okay, so we just talked about how Mary had her miracle. Elizabeth had her miracle. Zachariah had his little miracle come, how he went voiceless, being able to have his voice again in his ministry. Kind of coming up to the description of the birth of Jesus. I'm just going to read a short tidbit from Matthew because we've been kind of in Luke. First, regarding our last thing we talked about is that the birth of Jesus took place like this. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. Before they came to the marriage bed, Joseph discovered she was pregnant. It was by the Holy Spirit, but he didn't know that. And it says, Joseph woke up and he did exactly what God's angel commanded in the dream. He married Mary. And then it goes on to say that after Jesus was born in Bethlehem village, Herod was terrified. He was terrified because all these people were kind of rumoring around like, oh, like, did you hear that the newborn is the king of the Jews? So all of a sudden, Jesus is born in this land, Bethlehem, 
and they're in this King Herod is like afraid for his life. It's, he arranged a secret meeting with the scholars from the east. He said, go find this child, leave no stone unturned, and as soon as you find him, send word, and I'll join you at once in your worship. But when they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, get up, he said, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. Ready, we see that it's like, you know, the king giving this promise to his people, like, go find this child, and then there's God who is sending angels to Joseph to speak to him in dreams. It was like God spoke to Joseph through a dream to marry Mary, and two, he spoke through a dream to be able to speak to him to take Jesus and save him. And that is what the Lord does whenever the enemy has a plan out for us. He protects us, he guides us, he sends angels to guard us from, from the enemy. Whenever you do have like a God assignment on your life, I think that there's always, like the enemy is always out on assignment to try to get you down, to try to take you out. Whatever it is that you know your God purposes, just like Jesus' purpose was to come and set set humanity free from sin, from darkness, from pain, from sickness. He came to set people free from the things that, that they were in bondage of. You just want to give that little bit of hope to you that Jesus has come to set you free. He's come to set you free indeed. That's all we have today. It's our little Christian segment. Thought it'd be fun to do it outside in the sun. Also a storm coming in while this is happening, which is quite funny metaphorically because, you know, we're kind of talking about the storm that is coming in with the birth of Jesus and how it went from being peaceful and still and of course the enemy doesn't want that to, to happen. He doesn't want the sunshine to stay in our lives. He doesn't he doesn't want us to be happy and enjoying things. He wants us to be stressed. He wants us to be worried. He wants us to be sick. He wants us to be not in community. He wants us to live in fear and bankruptcy. But the Lord has come to set man, men free so that we can live in love to reflect his love as we love one another. So I just believe for you that if there's an assignment on your life today, may you know it's because there's a God purpose on your life. If you have something that you're going through that's a burden, then hand it to Jesus because he already came to earth and, and overcame the enemy's assignment so that the enemy's assignment on your life can be canceled too. Thank you for enjoying Vlogmas Day 9 with me. Can you believe how fast they go? I feel like they go fast every time, but hopefully you're enjoying our little making the pancakes, doing silly faces. I was totally gonna go swimming, but now that the rain's coming in, I don't think that's going to happen. Tomorrow we're going to have another fun day together. I pray that if anything, this is just encouraging you, like these little segments at the end. I personally think they're super duper fun. When I listen back to them, they always encourage me and it's just the simplicity of the, you know, the Christmas story that we kind of forget about. There was all these setbacks for, for Jesus too. And like whenever you stay faithful, the miracles happen. So stay faithful, my friend, to what the Lord has placed in your heart. Stay faithful to who he's calling you to be. Don't forsake your God destiny. Do not forsake your God identity for God has you. See you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 10. That storm cloud coming in. You can hear it in the distance. Took my son away. I'm so sad about it. Bring back my son. <laughs>